today let us solve a problem on the analysis of the pre stressed concrete beam that is we are supposed to find the stresses in the top fiber and the bottom fiber okay first let me read out the problem a concrete beam of t section 500 mm width and overall depth 300 mm flange thickness and web width equal to 100 mm is pre stressed with 750 kN at an eccentricity of 100 mm from the cg of cross section analyze the section for stresses if the beam of span 7 meter is subjected to live load of 20 kN per meter assume unit weight of concrete to be 24 kN per meter cube so it is given that a concrete beam of t section okay so now let's just let us write okay what is the given data so first it is given that it is a t section so let us draw the t section okay so t section is given right and it is given that 500 mm width means this is 500 mm okay and it is given that overall depth is 300 mm means the entire t section it is 300 mm okay and it is given that the flange thickness this is flange and this is web okay so the flange thickness means this and web width that is this web width both are 100 mm okay now it is pre stressed with 750 kN means the magnitude of pre stressing force is given as how much 750 kN okay at an eccentricity eccentricity is given as 100 mm from the cg of cross section analyze the section for stresses if the beam of span 7 meters means l is given as 7 meters is subjected to live load of 20 kN per meter means q value is given as 20 kN per meter okay assume unit weight of the concrete okay the the density it is given as 24 kN per meter cube so this is the given data first of all what we should do is we should read the problem carefully and write down what is the given data and what type of section is given everything we have to note down okay then next is we have to find what is the self weight okay of this t section that is self weight we know that self weight is written as g okay that is the area into the density of concrete right so first what we should find is the total area of this t section so the total area equal to first let us divide this into two rectangular sections okay so first this area a1 that is 500 into 100 this is area of the flange this top rectangular portion plus for this bottom that is web what is the area total is 300 300 minus 100 means this will be how much this will be 200 mm so 200 into 100 so the total area how much you will get we will get it as 70000 mm square always unit of area is in mm square right now if i want to write this in meter square meter square means 1 mm is 1 mm is 10 to the power minus 3 right so here if i substitute it will be 10 to the power minus 6 meter square so it will be 0.07 meter square right so now substituting here it will be 0.07 into 24 so how much we'll get 1.68 kilo newton per meter will be the self weight okay so now the total that is w 
the loading on the beam we have to find that is g plus q okay so g we have got as 1.68 and the live load value it is given right we have noted down it is how much 20 so it will be 21.68 kilo newton per meter this is the total intensity of load on the beam that is self weight plus live load okay now mw that is the bending moment w l square by 8 okay so w value we have already 21.68 into span is given how much span is given as 7 7 square by 8 so how much you get the bending moment value we get 132.79 unit is kilo newton meter okay so after finding this next what we have to find is the distance of the centroid okay from the bottom fiber either from top fiber or from the bottom fiber however we can find it okay so let me first do it okay first how to find it means a y b equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 okay so let me take this here that is you can see here first this is the first area what will be a1 a1 will be 500 into 100 right this rectangular portion 1 and second rectangular portion area will be how much 200 into 100 okay and the total area we have found out that is 70,000. First let us write that. Okay. So total area is 70,000 into YB equal to A1 is 500 into 100. That is area of the flange portion. Okay. Now Y1 let me keep it like that plus A2. The second area how much it is 200 into that is A2 and Y2. Now first let us find what is Y1 and Y2. That is from this bottom fiber I am taking. What is the distance of the CG or the centroid of this top flange portion? It will be at half. For rectangular portion we know it is at D by 2. So 100 by 2 it will be 50. Okay, This much will be 50. And this depth is how much? 200. So 200 plus 50 it will be this one. Y1. It will be how much? Y1 will be 200 plus 50 it will be 250. Now what will be Y2? That is the centroid of this sec second web portion. Okay. From the bottom fiber here it will be again at d by 2 its depth is how much 200 200 by 2 will be 100 right yes this one so 200 by 2 will be 100 so y2 equal to 100 mm now let me substitute both the values okay so y1 we have got it as how much 250 and y2 we have got it as 100 so yb value substituting and simplifying we will get how much it will be 207.14 mm that is the distro that is the distance of the centroid okay this will be of this whole t section the centroid is at a distance of 207.14 from the bottom fiber okay clear next what we have to do is we have to find the moment of inertia of this T section. Okay. Let us do it. The moment of inertia of the T section. Okay. I will draw it once again the T section. Okay. It is 500. This is 100. It is 100, 100, this is 500, okay, and 
this one it is how much 200 mm okay now moment of inertia of t section i have solved many examples on my channel i will put the link in description box you can just refer so how we find is for each area what we'll do we'll find it as a rectangular portion the moment of inertia that is bd cube by 12 formula we know right so for the first area and second area both rectangular areas what we'll do we'll do bd cube by 12 then plus the area of each portion into the distance that is yb and y1 or yb and y2 okay that difference will multiply that is it will be bd cube by 12 plus ay square okay in engineering mechanics you have studied so let me do it first bd cube by 12 for the first area plus a1 into yb minus y1 whole square always what we have to do is we have to take the greater one first if for first portion if y1 is greater we have to do y1 minus yb whole square okay otherwise also it is square no so you will get positive only plus bd cube by 12 for the second portion into the second portion area into yb minus y2 whole square just now we have determined what is y1 and y2 okay we have found out that is y1 is 250 okay and y2 is how much that is 200 by 2 that is 100 right always for rectangle we know cg will be at center right if it is d this will be at d by 2 okay and here also it will be at this distance b then this will be b by 2 right now substituting here for the first rectangular portion width how much it is 500 into depth is how much this only depth of this flange portion 100 cube by 12 plus area this area that is 500 into 100 okay into yb we have got how much it is yb value 207.14 minus 250 whole square okay anyways minus square it will be plus then plus for this second portion okay second portion it will be bd cube for this b is 100 and d is 200 so bd cube means 100 into 200 cube by 12 plus its area is 100 into 200 and what will be yb yb is how much 207.14 minus 100 whole square so moment of inertia we get 429.76 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4 always unit of moment of inertia is mm raised to 4 okay next we will find the section section modulus that is zt section modulus we have learned that is i divided by yt okay you will get how much moment of inertia will find that is zt and zb okay so i value it is 429.76 into 10 to the power 6 divided by yt value we have to find that is yt means the total depth how much it is yt is total depth of the t section is given how much 300 minus yb value is 207.14 okay so we will get how much 92.85 mm okay here you can see we have found from the bottom fiber no yb value it is 207 0.14 so 300 minus yb value we will get yt value that is from top fiber distance of cg from top fiber okay now this value divided by yt how much 92.85 so zt 
here I'll write here 4.62 into 10 to the power 6 mm cube okay next next we'll find the zb value zb equal to i by yb i value is 429.76 into 10 to the power 6 divided by yb we know already 207.14 so how much we'll get 2.07 into 10 to the power 6 mm cube next next we know how to find the stress at top fiber and bottom fiber that is f superior equal to p by a minus p e by z t for top fiber stress we have to take z t okay plus m w divided by z t so pre stressing force we know it is how much 750 into 10 to the power 3 because it is kilo newton so we have to substitute in newton because we want stress in newton per mm square divided by the area area is 70,000 ok minus 750 into 10 to the power 3 into eccentricity is given as 100 divided by zt value just now we have determined that is 4.62 into 10 to the power 6 then plus mw we have found out the bending moment value how much it is bending moment value is 132 ok point 132.79 into 10 to the power 6 whole divided by zt is 4.62 into 10 to the power 6 so stress we get 23.2 newton per mm square that is f superior at top fiber then f inferior that is at the bottom fiber p by a minus that is plus p e by z b we have to take z b then minus m w by z b both the formula you can easily remember that is the total stress is f superior f inferior you can write like this here f superior f inferior p by a minus plus p e by z plus minus m by z ok so for f superior it is p by a minus p by z plus m by z top one you have to take then f inferior p by a plus p by z minus m by z ok if you are taking top fiber you have to take z t if you are taking bottom fiber that is f inferior then you have to take z b so if you remember this formula then you can solve all the problems on the analysis of the pre-stressed concrete beam for the stresses ok is equal to now p by a that is 750 into 10 to the power 3 it is very very simple subject you can score very very well in this ok plus 750 into 10 to the power 3 into 100 divided by zb value be very careful ok here we have to take zb value that is 2.07 into 10 to the power 6 minus mw mw is how much 132.79 into 10 to the power 6 divided by again zb value is 2.07 into 10 to the power 6 so we get minus 17.2 newton per mm square ok minus 17.2 newton per mm square so we have found out the stresses ok we have analyzed this t section found out stresses at the top fiber and the bottom fiber i hope all of you understand how understood how to solve this ok if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section thank you please like share and subscribe to my channel